Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to hopefully resolve the D3D compiler um, underscore 43.dll missing error. Um, you might be getting some of these errors when you're trying to run certain games on your computer. So in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to hopefully resolve this. Um, it seems that this is a fairly common issue that extends back to earlier versions of Windows. I think it might even go back to Windows 98 and any really any version of Windows that might use DirectX, which um, I think is pretty extensive. So we're going to just jump right into it here and we're going to start by heading over to our web browser. My landing page is Google, but it doesn't really matter for you guys. What's important is that we're going to type in DirectX. And we want to select the one that's from April 18th, 2011, that says Download DirectX End User Runtime Web Installer. So the date might change after this recording, but I'm just saying we want to do the one that says Download, and the website domain is Microsoft.com. So underneath, select Language, select your correct language, and then once you're done selecting a corresponding language, select the Download button. You do not need to check these options here, and then just proceed by clicking on no thanks and continue. Once it's finished downloading, left click on the run button. If you get a user account control window, select yes. Select I accept the agreement, and then left click on next. At this point, you can uncheck to install the Bing bar if you do not want the Bing bar to be installed. It's an optional download. At this point, click on Next again. And this will begin installing the components, and hopefully it will install the DLL file that is missing in our case. So we're going to select Next again. And it shouldn't take very long here. We see that the estimated download time left is right about a minute. Okay, so we can see the installation is complete and the components installed are now ready for use. Left click on finish. So at this point I recommend restarting your computer. However, if that method did not work for you, um, there is an alternative method that I could suggest. And I've made a similar tutorial like this I believe in the past. So it would pretty much be the same, but we're going to just open up our web browser here. And I'm going to go back over to Google. I'll see if any one of you guys might be able to figure out what video I'm talking about. Um, make that a little challenge of this video. But let's get back on topic here. We're going to type in D3D compiler underscore 43.dll. And you want to type in download. So we want to select the first entry here that says DLL slash uh, files or actually not the first entry, you want to select the one that the domain name is dllfiles.com. You want to select this option from the list. So now you want to scroll down here until you get to this section right here for 32-bit and 64-bit operating systems. Make sure you're downloading the correct version um, for your version of Windows. If for some reason you do not know, um, you can qu just quickly head over to the Start button type in system should be listed as under the control panel so you can click on that and it should tell you underneath system type what type of operating system you're running you want to go off of what your operating system is in most cases your operating system will be the same as your processor it just happens to be that I'm in a virtual environment that's why it's showing up as a 64-bit CPU processor on a 32-bit operating system in most cases you will not see this so again, go off of what the operating system is. 
you want to select what version to download because mine was apparently a 32-bit. I'm going to select the 32-bit download. And then I'm going to open up the folder that it's contained within. And then I'm just going to drag it over here to the desktop. And I'm going to open it up because it appears to be a compressed file. And then I'm going to take my DLL file that's in here and drag it out of whatever window it is. It happens to be that I have WinRAR on this computer, but you don't need WinRAR or any other programs in order to open up this compressed file. So now that we have this DLL file, what we're going to do is head over to the File Explorer icon, or you can type in File Explorer on the Start menu. It doesn't really matter. Most of you guys should have an icon down here. So I'm just going to do that for simplicity's sake and make it go a little quicker. And then on the left side, I'm going to select Local Disk C. And now I'm going to double click on the Windows folder. You want to scroll down until you get the System32 right here. So if you actually scroll down, you can see there's a lot of DLL files in here. We're just going to take our DLL file for the one that was supposedly missing and just drop it in and move it into System32. Since we already see that there is a file in here, it means that our first step completed successfully. However, if you're not getting this, that means it's definitely not in this System32 folder, which means you should replace the file. So I'm just going to select Replace the File in the Destination, even though it appears we've already successfully put it in. And then we're going to select Continue. So both methods should have proven results. It really depends on what you guys would rather prefer, I guess. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this brief tutorial and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.